Hello everyone, welcome to SQ TV Global. Today, guys, we have uh, Mr. Ashish Chauhan with us on the show. He is a doctor by profession and he has been to the show a couple of times to talk on different topics. Today, we are going to discuss about Omicron with him as we all know that we are again heading towards the third wave. So we'll speak with him about the necessary precautions that we need to take um, around this third wave and also about this deadly virus taking a new form in the name of Omicron. But before we begin the show, let's welcome him to SQTV TV Global. Hello, Dr. Ashish. Once again, welcome to SQTV TV Global. Thanks a lot, Rajni, for that warm welcome. Coming to speak on a health topic on SQTV TV is a blessing, is a delight, and I'm honored because, yes, uh, media is all about spreading the right kind of message to the right kind of people mm -hmm. and Asput has been doing it very nicely. Congratulations and thanks for calling me back again. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you so much. And it's always a pleasure having you on the show. So, uh, Doctor, now uh, I would like to, you know, again, um, talk about uh, the topic of discussion today, which is, you know, this virus taking a new deadly form in the name of Omicron. So, uh, before I ask you anything, I actually would like to know from you about Omicron. What exactly is Omicron? Omicron is another variant of uh, COVID virus. Um, and COVID has been a pandemic and it's been a disaster to the whole world globally. And, and that's what it is. And uh, we've had initially the Delta variant, which was a um, very deadly virus. And we've had a bad casualties because of that. Um, Omicron is one which spreads very fast. It's very infectious. But thankfully, it's not as deadly as the, the Delta variant was. So there is good and the bad news, which is in combined. So the good news is that it is not as deadly as uh, Delta was. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the risk people, say in high risk people like diabetic people or elderly people, kidney failure, uh, patients with cancer, it definitely can be disastrous and fatal. So that's what the Omicron is all about. And Yes, um, we can take this as the uh, already a beginning of the third wave. And uh, and you and me, we all, almost everybody, we all need to fight it together. So, uh, doctor, again, um, you know, you actually mentioned that it's not as deadly as the previous virus. So, but uh, again, I would like to know from you, you know, um, the lockdown, you know, the night curfew has begun and uh, the lockdown is you know about to I think it, it, it is about to happen or not uh, I mean the government can only tell but um, you know we are uh, hearing the news that it might happen soon so um, with this are we again supposed to follow the social distancing and wear the mask even for this virus as well we should we must and probably that's the only answer we have it see uh, we as an Indian mentality people have become the people who want the flogging to be done. When the mm -hmm. order will come out, then only we will listen, yeah. and, which is a wrong attitude. Government is not doing the day lockdown, but you and me have to behave as if there is a lockdown. Mm -hmm. So if you do not learn from history, take my words, we all will pay the price for it. The Spanish flu in 1918 and 1919 and 20 was a deadly. The 50 crore people were affected and good number have lost their lives also. And that's the same thing. Second, uh, the thing which is being repeated with COVID. First wave, second wave and third wave. Second wave has been very, very scaringly and it was bad and have lost a lot in every profession. No one was untouched. Yeah. Every profession was touched. So... Uh, what I would want to speak from your channel is, if you want to live for 100 years, 100 day days, behave yourself. That's what I will tell others. Your health is in your hands. Mm -hmm. Don't get carried away by the Pakkanawal, the, the other fellows from the neighborhood, they are going very comfortably. No, no, no. Your health is your responsibility. You are an important father for your family and, and, and the, the, your place, nobody else can replace it strictly follow SMS, social distancing, mask use, and uh, finally sanitizer use. So lockdown, whether it's going to come or not, please maintain lockdown. I'm very happy we're talking like this. Um, this is the second program I'm doing it today. Otherwise, actually, I keep doing it in last one week, 10 programs. Awareness is important. 
your safety is more in your hands than in the vaccination mm-hmm. you have to understand that and that's the only way we can fight safely and a winning war you and me understand that very well otherwise government alone cannot fight it you and me need to understand that absolutely i mean you know uh, you actually uh, gave us a small abbreviation uh, in the name of sms so uh, doctor i would highly request all the people watching us right now or will be later to follow sms you know uh, so sms is social distancing mask and sanitizing yourself okay great so with doctor uh, you know when we talk about uh, the pandemic happening i mean uh, when we talk about the covid happening so it actually uh, began from 2019 but uh, it came to india i think in 2020 uh, that's when i remember actually and the complete lockdown happened in 2020 so for the first year when it happened it wasn't like as bad as the other countries i mean uh, we were still in a better situation and a better place in comparison to other countries but in 2021 it was worse than any country and um, we lost so many lives and uh, we actually saw such a bad time uh, you know we as a country and now speaking of third wave so uh, what can we expect from it is it going to be as bad as uh, the second wave or how is it going to be i would be making a very responsible statement expect it worst so that mm-hmm. there is less damage you go okay. casual with your guards off and you have a big disaster and that's what happened in the second wave 2020 february the first wave hit in in september october we were fine in mm-hmm. december i saw people were getting ready for the for the last december december 2020 ready for the christmas new year mm-hmm. then also in march people were very much ready for the holi and may april last week we had the best the worst hit possible so yeah. many casualties and obviously uh uh the real figures are probably more scary than what figures are there in the media yeah. and the ones who have gone through it they know it very well third wave take my words will be worse and let's prepare ourselves rather than it coming out like directly on the face and we don't have anywhere to go i think it's our responsibility that we expect the worst prepare for the worst and later on we say we we fought it well and and you mm-hmm. know we managed it well rather the other way around for all the fathers and the mothers and the brothers and the sisters wear mask offer it carry it to everybody who doesn't have it no parties in 2022 is what i would say life mm-hmm. is more important than the party and for the ones who believe that they are rt pcr negative and they can fly i would tell you you are living in the fools den or the fools heaven one rt pcr negative report does not mean you don't have a covid mm-hmm. the first doctor who we lost had a third rt pcr report which came positive his first two reports were negative only at this time i request you uh, don't try to become superman because that's what has happened the once i i do almost 40 50 online consultations per day in one ru- routine song i hear it sir i am mm-hmm. vaccinated no the vaccinated people are becoming more positive because they became supermen we got a vaccination yeah. so we won't get the disease no wrong if a helmet will guarantee you that you will not have a damage and you will not have a problem helmet does not guarantee there won't be any accident being in the bike at 500 speed even helmet cannot save you so uh, before vaccination you have to mask yourself after vaccination you have to mask yourself i hope that message gets communicated well i mean uh, absolutely and also you know even you know we are only praying that it doesn't happen you know as bad as it happened in 2021 but we can only prepare ourselves we can think that it might get worse than that and only then we'll be able to protect ourselves and we'll be able to you know um, we say precaution is better than cure so uh, we can act, take the precaution necessary precautions and everything so that uh, you know so much harm doesn't happen so with this doctor i also would like to know you know there uh, people are saying that um, there is some connection between uh, omicron and kids as it is going to affect the kids more in comparison to the older people and the younger people so uh, would you agree to that and what would you like to say about that there is high possibility and the reason to understand it is it is spreading very fast and i definitely have uh, a lot of patients calling me with their children having got affected so yes there is definitely i see that there will be more number of cases and uh, i hope i am proven wrong and uh, yes 
we need to protect our children and i believe today is 7th january tomorrow 8th january onwards the all the schools are going online in telangana i think that's a great call we have mm-hmm. to protect our future we have to protect our children and uh, yes uh, the only answer again is sms and it is not 100% relying on vaccination because suddenly i see people running for their children to be vaccinated i think it's been permitted for more than 15 years of age which is a uh, 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 a uh, thing which we need to welcome we have seen lot of people have taken first dose and second dose also becoming positive so that's not the only answer you need to be responsible yourself and mm-hmm. that's what the message i would want to give um, online uh, 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 consultation online education is the new norm we all have to accept it and we have to mm-hmm. work so doctor uh, can you uh, i mean tell us that it can uh, omicron can affect children from which age to which age can highly affect i think everybody i remember okay. that there is a, even a new nate also who got positive last year so mm-hmm. I, i think nobody is untouched and that mm-hmm. is a message which we all need to take it the first thing is the first responders are the ones who are maximum at risk that is the police that is the doctors that is a healthcare professional the teachers um what we need to understand it is we all need to learn pull up our socks and see how we can manage it well how we can prevent it well so yes. education and awareness is most important thing so congratulation to scube and all the other uh, um, the media who is working positively for the society and mm. changing ourselves the survival of the fit, fittest we all know it very well you need to be fit you need to change uh, your ways of working your ways of earning your ways of learning so if mm-hmm. we can get into that one that will be good idea and um, we have to understand uh, the words of uh, our honorable prime minister aapda mein avsar we have to find opportunities in any disaster so this is the, this time let the families come together i think this is a very good time that siblings should have a good a uh, friendship good relation the family should be together and stay like that i think one or two years is a god's blessing if we take it that way it's all about mm. your outlook and attitude i think if you get the right attitude corona and covid and omicron can be a blessing keep the whole Absolutely. family united and and then probably yeah. the huge life is there for you to celebrate and go out more but exactly. one or two years stay within the four walls uh, so doctor also now uh, with this i would like to uh, i mean i would like to request you to please uh, tell the audiences and aware them more uh, on the symptoms of omicron symptoms are every symptom possible which you can imagine the cough okay. mood vomiting fever weakness or no symptom at all right now i can be positive you can be positive okay. so that's the ha uh, that's a blunt way which we need to understand it so don't look out for symptoms if you have any issue the time you have issue go for online consultation do not run to hospital or clinics because they are the dirtiest places because of for the obvious reason all the patients come there only online consultation is a way out i will be very happy to give free advices to uh, kind of listeners of scube tv i am always available at 8106127475 whatsapp me text me ki i am a, a, a viewer of scube tv will you just help me out with one or two doubts of mine i will do that online consultation is the answer is the best answer at this time finally mm-hmm. we need to understand mask always whether you have symptoms you don't have symptoms where you are going to hospital you are going to club you are going anywhere mask always mm-hmm. investigate always any time mm-hmm. somebody says that you need the investigations to be done please do that pass the information uh, make sure everybody is carrying the insurance i'm mean, saying in present day world everybody is crying for the money and all those things and we understand treatment is costly ecmo and all has charged people where it has come to as much as 1 crore and above be prepared for it get yourself insured not mm-hmm. having a, a health insurance is probably being very very irresponsible make sure every family member of yours is insured mm-hmm. avoid crowded places very very necessity take rest if you have any symptoms if if you're feeling cough you're feeling weak if you got numbness in legs stay at mm-hmm. home you got a fever stay at home rest is the best if you have any symptoms taking a okay. rest at home is the best cure and treatment for you go for take lots and lots of oral fluids any time you feel don't wait for thirst to come if you have any symptom keep sipping in water 
you know, you're in my body 70% water. Yeah. Any viral disease takes away the water from your body. Paracetamol, the best treatment for a fever is, is again takes away the water because you get a lot of sweating. So mm-hmm. you need to hydrate yourself. You have to say no to smoking. You have to say no to alcohol. No to worst enemy of a human mankind is self-meditation. Med- self-medication and self-treatment. Do not take professional advice. Mm-hmm. Don't run for uh, super specialist. Stick to your family medicine. You have mm-hmm. any doubt? I'm more than happy to be available to you. Mm-hmm. Now, if you actually understand, I have given you an acronym, which for you to remember. O is online consultation. M is mic all my uh, mask always. I is investigate early. C is crowded places to be avoided. R is rest is best. O is oral intake to be increased if you have symptoms. N is no to smoking, no to self-medication, no to self-treatment. If you remember this, Rajni, you must understand, nobody will fall sick. And yeah. no falling prey to the false rumors. You know, a lot mm-hmm. of people, on the people keep coming, they try to teach the doctors. Sir, we should take this medicine. Isn't this better? Isn't that better? No need. A lot of people have taken unnecessary steroids just because they themselves have checked the net and they are following it out. One symptom can be attributed to 1,000 diseases. One disease can have 1,000 manifestations. Cough can be because of COVID, can be because of pneumonia, because of pneumococcal disease, can be because of cancer, TB, HIV. So don't just treat yourself like doctor decided. 20 mm-hmm. minutes of Googling cannot be equated with 20 years of a doctor's experience. Trust uh-huh. your doctor. And also, doctor, you actually have given a new meaning to Omicron. And if we follow your meaning, we definitely can fight Omicron. And uh, with this, uh, doctor, also I would like to know from you that do at-home COVID-19 tests detect Omicron? Uh, to some extent, yes. And somebody want to use it at home is a, is a okay I wouldn't promote too much because not only if the positive result comes, you think that you got Omicron is or, or COVID is, a, is the right kind of approach. But the worst will be if you test and it is negative and then you think, okay, I don't have a COVID. That's a disastrous thing. So instead of self-kit, jumping to the kit, I think you should jump for an online consultation. Uh, uh, that is more important than... than uh, and then t- uh, let doctor decide and help you out. I think that's much okay. better than, than going by yourself. Yeah. And also, uh, Dr. Omicron has mutations uh, that m- may make it more uh, trans- transmissible than COVID. Is it true or false? Yes, I think, look, what has happened is we are getting scared for a normal phenomenon. Influenza virus mutates and has a lot of variants every year. Every year, 200 different variants, they club up together and they make a vaccine out of it. So virus mutating and, you know, having all the mutations are very, very common, acceptable. So don't worry about that. I'm very sure the way they are mutating, even our size is also evolving very fast. But yes, you need to make sure that you don't go in for suicide, going for a parties, for drugs, for smoking. And then, you know, you're, you're kind of too close to each other. With great mm-hmm. power comes great responsibility. If you want freedom, then you should be able to respect that freedom. You have to have a mask. You have to have carry sanitizer always wherever you are. I hope that communicates the message. And last but not the least, doctor, before I let you go, I also would like to know that, you know, um, should we be, if we get Omicron, so should we be more concerned than uh, we getting COVID or uh, we should be a bit relaxed? No, no, you should never be relaxed when it is about disease. Uh, my okay. father used to tell me you should never ever underestimate three things. One is a loan, second is an enemy, and third is a disease. So never ever underestimate a disease, any disease. Uh, 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 forget about Omicron and or, or COVID. Dengue kills, uh, yeah. malaria kills, HIV kills, and dengue and malaria kills two, three thousand every day. It's just that the media is not noticing it. Media is more focusing on Omicron and COVID. So no, no, don't underestimate a disease. You get any disease, reach out to your doctor. Between you and uh, death, uh, doctor is only the one who stands in between. So that's how I will say. Thank you so much, Dr. Ashish, for again coming to SQ TV and enlightening our audiences with so much information and such a, such enlightening information. So thank you. Thank you so much for that. Thanks a lot, Rajni. It was a very blessed experience as usual. I call out for all the 
uh, you know, uh, the audience who are, who's watching this program and viewers to not to forget and to subscribe to our channel and mm -hmm. to forward this, this uh, link to your friends and not to forget that there is a comment column and do add your comments because it encourages us. Uh, yeah. It's not doctors who can save the country. It's only the, the, the youngest town of India who understands what to forward and how to join hands together for building up this company, country as well as for making sure that this country stays healthy. So over to you all. Thanks a lot for the lovely time and for this time where we could discuss out something as scariest and as deadly as COVID. Thank you. Take care. God bless. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank you. All right, guys, that's it from SKIP TV Global. Keep on watching and do subscribe to the channel.